latest album, uh, I have a copy of it right here, is entitled Slow Dancing with the Moon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the legendary Dolly Parton. Dolly! Welcome. I wasn't expecting that. Welcome to the program. Well, thank you. It's always good to see you. You're hot tonight. Well, I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, really hot. <laughs> doing, doing what I can. Now, um, first of all, to the kid in the audience, you were wrong. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Ted, uh, did, did you have trouble with the, with the storm? Where'd you come from? Well, actually, I've been stuck in Utica, New York, which is not all that far from here, yep. for about two and a half days. We got snowed in, and we had a great time. We had a restaurant right next door. The people live next door. They came in, cooked lunch for us, because the hockey team got stuck in our hotel room, so we had to live on our buses. And it was like we were whole up there. I sort of felt like that David Carish from Waco. Ooh. It's like we were... Yeah, I'm serious. It's like we had all my band and my crew, and we were stuck there at the concert. And we got a chance to go in the theater and just kind of in and out, but we were actually kind of trapped there. For All right, let me ask you a couple of questions specifically about this. You're traveling now, you and the band, by bus. bus. By buses. Bus is. This is the great big Dolly bus, right? The big, huge. <laughs> Well, actually, I have my own bus that I travel with all the girls in the group mm. on, the Ooh, singers, man. and we have fun. And, and my road manager, Don Warden, and the driver, the only guys on the bus, but we have a lot of fun with that. And then we have a crew bus on the road and a band bus. So we're kind of like a little caravan, so it was like a real family thing. We were snowed in but had a heap of fun. It was like the old days of show business. So now you couldn't get into a hotel, or would you normally not get into a hotel? Well, we had rooms at the hotel. We were supposed to perform yeah. in that town that night, and the snowstorm came. We did not get to do the show that night because we were stranded. The people that were checked in the hotel, the hockey team and some other people, well, we couldn't get in our rooms because they couldn't leave. Mm -hmm. So thank goodness we have bunks and everything on the buses that we need. So they did have food at the at the hotel. We were kind of all, the theater and the hotel and uh, this restaurant was kind of close, so it's kind of like a little village and we this, just kind of This sounds like one of, the, one of those wacky movies that they would uh, they would film in about six weeks. It's true. It's the country <laughs> western band, the hockey team, yeah. the hotel staff, the, uh, the blizzard of the century. <laughs> it's true. And you know what else is funny? It was like a movie because that very day, I couldn't believe this. Now this is how true the Irish are to their parades and, and, mm -hmm. and their uh, deal. The St. Patrick's Day, they had a parade the storm i mean it was like a blizzard you wouldn't believe oh yeah we were on our bus not a person on the street and i kept hearing these drums i thought what is that <laughs> and i'm telling you they had planned this parade all <laughs> all year i guess oh, yeah. and on that saturday they were going down the streets these people were marching sliding around in the snow the girls were waving <laughs> their hair as flat as a board you know from the snow just to flying at them nobody watching except us from our bus windows and i thought right on irish people yeah. have a good time <laughs> That's for I'm, you. <laughs> I'm telling you, this movie writes itself. I know, but it was fun. But I, we almost didn't get here. We had to cancel the uh, Larry King show, and we, they, we thought we weren't going to make it to your show. So tonight, after your show, I'm going to do Larry King. Oh, well, that too, seems so. about right. Yeah, so yeah. since I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, out promoting, you know, I'm, I'm out doing a promotion on this how, new album. How many miles do you think you've been in buses traveling around in your professional life? Oh, my goodness, it would be hard to say. I used to travel all the time. We used to work about 150 days to 200 days a year. Now I don't work that much on the bus. I, I maybe do about 100 days a year. When did you begin your career professionally? How old were you? I started singing on radio and TV when I was 10 years old back in Knoxville, Tennessee, and my first big break came in 1967 when I joined up with the Porter Wagner Show. Porter had a syndicated television show that was a big country thing at that time. So How old that's were you when in 67? Well, I was, uh, I was 19. Just a kid. Yeah, Just I was kid. born in 46, so that's yeah. about right. You know, you were born in 46? Yeah. I was born in 47. Well. Yeah. See, we're just made for each other. <laughs> it's my new Romeo here. Oh, now. <laughs> um, and we, you know, we, we have some videotape of you. I don't know if you were 19 or a little bit older, but this is with Porter Wagner, and we looked at this. 
this afternoon. You couldn't be more adorable. You're just as oh, cute. Oh, really? I have no idea what you're going to do. Oh, this is great. No, I wouldn't well, I'll do... I'll tell you about it when we see it. Okay, see? I wouldn't do this if I thought it would make you feel a little uncomfortable because you look very cute. Well, good. Let's see. Okay, roll it. Hal, uh, do me a favor. Roll the videotape. Here we have uh, Dolly Parton, Porter Wagner. We think about 1967. Take a look at this, folks. Your name is Dolly, isn't it? I believe so. Merry so. Christmas to you and a Thank happy you. Uh, She has it. Uh, and did a duet. This is the first song we recorded together quite a long while ago. Let's try it. It's called The Last Thing on My Feeble, Feeble Mind. mind. Yeah. <laughs> You look great. You're just you're just a kid, and you look great. And Porter looks good there. Porter too. was younger then too. I've, we both had some hairdos in our time. Well, me and that Porter. I was I was just going to say your hair in those days could be used, yeah, as a flotation device. <laughs> it could have been. Along with other things. <laughs> Yo. Is the bus downstairs on the, like 6th Avenue? I am on the bus. Is it really down there? Honestly, and as soon as we're finished with the, your show and Larry King tonight, well, I'm getting back on the bus and driving all the way to Nashville. It's about 18 hours. I don't like to fly, and I don't unless I have to, and the airports are crazy now anyway. Yeah. So we're all set up. I love the bus. Now, normally, what would the New York to Nashville, what kind of a flight is that? Like two hours, two and a half uh, hours? Oh, yeah, about so two it's, uh, you know, it's really not that much different. So you, you figure, you know, <laughs> dropping off the rental car, well, driving to and from the airport, it was, Two and a half, eighteen. It's pretty much. <laughs> but I got everything on the bus. I, I I do a lot of writing on the bus. I write a lot of songs. Yep. In fact, I wrote half of my, probably more than half of this album. This is the traveling. new album here, a slow dancing with the moon. Whoops. Moon. <laughs> I get nervous. It's not that good. And uh, <laughs> it's hard not to get nervous looking at the, co the cover photo. Let me tell you a little bit, though. On the first single off of this is called Romeo, and I'm on that with uh, Billy Ray Cyrus and Tanya Tucker, Mary Chapin Carpenter, oh, yeah. Kathy Matea, and uh, uh, who else did I? Mm, I guess that's it. Pam Tillis. Yeah. And uh, so this, and all the money from Romeo goes to uh, the Red Cross, and they're certainly going to need it now with this new storms and everything. That's so, a great idea. Yeah. So that we're, it's kind of a song that's a little bit. We've had a, a lot of problems having some of the radio stations to play Romeo. Now, why won't they play this sexist. one? Well, they think that it's it's kind of about a bunch of girls out on the town, like in a bar, and they're kind of like got their eye on this guy. And right. it's like guys say it's very sexist, so a lot of guys don't like it turned the other way around. But, you know, it's like you don't think that we we girls don't check out the buns as you all talk to. <laughs> so, Shall we check his out? Um, I am having fun. Uh, but anyway, it's so. It's so cute men song. are upset by this, is what just you're that, saying. That particular single, yeah, mm -hmm. mostly men. All the girls love it. Yeah. But uh, it's just all in fun. Absolutely. It's not meant to be. Yeah, no. Get over, get over yourselves. Yeah. If you're, uh, For the Red Cross, anyway. <laughs>